First of all, I would like to thank all professors from UCLA uh, to join with us this symposium. Uh, because in the collaboration between UCLA and uh, VNU, we have a part of chemistry field. Uh, so, uh, mm, uh, I would like to uh, introduce to you an overview of research and education uh, in Faculty of Chemistry uh, to help you understand uh, for us. Yes. Uh, the Faculty of Chemistry uh, has been one of the premier um, faculties in University of Science. Uh, our faculty offers students uh, general and in-depth knowledge in theory and practical skill in the field of uh, organic chemistry, uh, inorganic chemistry, analytical chemistry, physical chemistry, polymer chemistry, and medicinal chemistry. Uh, our students are required to acquire knowledge in theory and practical chemistry research methodology and logical thinking procedure. And um, uh, in the um, around more than 10 years uh, before, uh, students graduate from our faculty are placed in academic position at the first grade institution, university, and companies. Uh, as I introduced uh, yesterday, our faculty in the present uh, has five departments, including uh, analytical chemistry, applied in organic chemistry, organic chemistry, physical chemistry, and polymer chemistry. Uh, maybe in this year, we will set up a new department in medicinal chemistry. And we also have three uh, key research labs uh, in applied physical chemistry, computational chemistry, and natural product and medicinal chemistry. Uh, now our staff is around 100 uh, members, uh, comprising uh, 10 professor and associate professor, around 27 PhD and 43 master, and we also have around 20 researcher. Now I would like to introduce in, uh, to introduce to you about our education. In the bachelor course, uh, now we have total around 1,000 students. Every year we have around 200, 250 students enrolled and around 200 students graduate from our university. And the course uh, requires four years, uh, divided into AC matters. Uh, the student uh, must complete uh, 140 credits, uh, divide into a semester like this. Uh, in the last semester, uh, the student must do graduation research project around 10 credits and have presentation. Um, in the other hand, uh, we also have an honor program in our faculty. In this program, we uh, select uh, around 30 student, excellent students from the entrance examination. Uh, we teach the same program, but focus on the methodologies and practical skill of active learning, creative thinking, doing research projects from basic to advanced, and improve uh, their English skill. The student graduate uh, from this program are able to study further abroad and be selected to promote their careers in universities. In the master program, now we have around 270 students. Um, the course is uh, around uh, two years, and they also must do graduation research project around 15 credits. Uh, in uh, six to eight months. In the PhD program, uh, we don't have so many students. Now we just have around 27 students. Uh, because uh, as you know, our um, facility is not so uh, good, so difficult for uh, PhD students to graduate from our university.
So uh, we need the help from UCLA. Uh, in the the PhD course, uh, the the students are required to complete the um, around nine credit, uh, only nine credit to relate the seminar, and they must uh, do research project. Um, actually, in the present, um, our staff are young. Um, almost uh, of uh, study PhD abroad. So now we have many kinds of research in chemistry. Um, as my case, I um, research in uh, medicinal chemistry and natural products. So now I would like to uh, introduce to you some uh, research interest in our faculty. In the organic synthesis group, now we uh, focus on synthesis of um, insecticides, of plant growth regulator, of uh, insect pheromones. Our study on the synthesis of organic dyes used in food and pharmaceutical industry are some uh, tautomerium reaction. Uh, we also have a big group in green chemistry. Um, in this uh, field, we uh, we use uh, microwave and ultrasound to assist the synthesis reactions to reduce the harmful waste product and increase reaction use. Um, in the natural products and medicinal chemistry, uh, now we um, study on the isolation and structure elucidation of natural compounds from uh, medicinal plants. And we also study on the extraction of essential oils or service synthesis of drugs from natural source, such as uh, taxol. And uh, we also study on the screening and testing biological activity, such as antioxidant, anti-enzyme, anti-inflammatory, anti-tumor, antiviral, or anti-malaria of uh, plant extracts and natural compounds. Um, as I told uh, yesterday, the natural product and medicinal chemistry is the strongest group in the faculty of chemistry. Uh, every year we can um, have around 10 to 15 uh, ISI publications. Because you know uh, Vietnam is the tropical country, so we possess many medicinal plants. So easy for us to identify the natural compounds. Um, five years before, we just uh, interest in the chemical composition of uh, medicinal plants. But now, we focus uh, on the isolation and identification of active natural compounds following by your say. Um, in the cancer research, now we just uh, um, join with some uh, biological uh, group, bi biology group to uh, find some uh, various natural compound is inhibited cytotoxicity against some cancer cell lines. For example, in uh, in my group, we just have a new publication in Planta Medica uh, about general dihydrochemicals from Atocarpus antilis and their anti austerity activity. Uh, in this research, we found uh, this compound was identified as potent preferentially cytotoxic candidates against PAMP1 human pancreatic cancer cell line under the neutron debris condition. Uh, so, I, I have a stress about the natural products and medicinal chemistry group. Uh, we can isolate an identification of anti-cancer candidates from medicinal plant. And we also can study on the synthesis of the related for screening anti-cancer activity to find potential agents. And we also can study on synthesis, uh, survey synthesis of anti-cancer candidates from natural compounds for further testing. In our older group, we also have the polymer chemistry. 
In this group, we study um, on the synthesis of polymers and graphene. Uh, this group work uh, like uh, Dr. Rick Karen. Karen. Rick Kenner. Uh, yeah, yeah. Rick Kenner, I'm sorry. And uh, we also study on the modification of natural polymers or uh, biodegradation of polymers or uh, polymer recycle or polymer additive. Uh, in um, in organic chemistry department, we focus on environmental treatment catalysts, uh, like uh, synthesis some um, uh, photocatalyst based on uh, titanium dioxide, or uh, advanced redox catalyst based on the transition metal oxides. We also um, interest in the um, synthesis of pigments or fertilizer or composition of cement or ceramic applying industry. Uh, and we also have a big group in ele electrochemistry and renewable en energy. In this field, we focus on the photovoltaic disensitized solar cells or rechargeable cell and four cells. Uh, and we also have group uh, interest in the theoretical and computational chemistry. Uh, we, uh, we study on the uh, computer and material designs or modeling spectroscopic property or reaction mechanism. In the uh, analytical chemistry field, uh, now we, uh, we just focus on the development of analytical methods such as chromatography, electrochemistry, atomic, atomic spectroscopy, or photospectroscopy. We also uh, study on the synthesis of shotgun for gas absorption and solid phase extraction and apply chemometrics to analytical chemistry. Uh, now we also uh, just uh, start a new project in uh, characterization of recombinant, recombinant uh, proteins. Um, we also have some uh, small group research in uh, catalyst chemistry, nanochemistry, or corrosion and protection of mineral or biodiesel. Um, uh, yesterday, you um, visited some uh, our lab in the Faculty of Chemistry. Uh, actually, we also have some basic instrumentation uh, like uh, uh, HPLC, GC, or some else. And um, we uh, com combine with the analysis center from the university, we also have NMR uh, with uh, 500 megahertz or uh, high resolution uh, mass spectrometer. Uh, for natural product and medicinal chemistry, uh, with uh, this, these two uh, instruments uh, enough for us uh, to get the ISI publication. And here are some uh, photos uh, of uh, my, our student in practice uh, course. And here, under graduation ceremony, and uh, our staff members. Thank you very much for your attention.